So, and that's one thing also, whenever I, I hear about, you know, putting your best in, I remember something about George uh, H.W. Bush for the first uh, president of the U.S., you know. When he was in Nova school, you know, he was asked, you know, did he put his best in, you know, and he said no, you know. But it's all part of also talking about not doing things. You know, if you do, if you do, if you do things half as as deadly, you don't get the fullness of the benefit of it. You know, so it's, life is about putting your best in whatever you do. Let your mind, let your heart be in it, because that's what truly opens the door of treasure of heaven. Heaven does not respond to everybody. It doesn't respond to everybody that is doing something. It only responds to people who put their heart into what they are doing. That's, those are the people that everyone responds to. Those are the people the treasure of this life respond to, right? So Bush was saying that be bold in, in your caring, be bold in your dreaming. Above all else, always do your best. You know, always put your best into whatsoever it thinks that you find yourself doing, you know. Um, so you, you don't you don't you don't think that at any point in time that you have tried, you know, you keep on improving, getting better, pressing on, you know, to get the treasure that you desire for your life. And we talked about the importance of enthusiasm earlier on. All right. On the last part is just to say that whatever you do, your work, your work is your signature in this life, right? The things that you do. You're not do, whatever you do, you're not doing for someone else, even no irrespective of where you are, where you are. So I love to say that I work for free, right? I don't work for the salary, right? I work for the benefit that heaven brings my way, right? If all you do is work for the salary, then the universe does not owe you anything. But if you do more than working for your salary, then God holds you for the extra, right? If all you do is work. Is, is 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 work so that you get for what you get paid and you say oh i'm not going to do any more they don't pay me well enough and god does not owe you anything you, you have already been fully paid the way to make it is to put god in debt you to always put the universe in debt that's why we say put your heart into whatever you're doing do more than what you get paid for right the extra that you do is what you are saying god i'm expecting your pay for the extra because they didn't pay me for this extra, right? Well, the God is the best pay master, right? Not your boss, not your customer, right? The extra you put in is use is the prayer on its own, right? You know, prayer is not just you kneeling down talking to God. We we'll pray by everything that we do because that's, that's, like, that's called sowing and reaping. So whatsoever I sow is a seed, is a prayer that demands. A response that demands that response for the harvest, right? So it's all that place where my work, you know, is my prayer, what I do with it. And also, about uh, apart from that, it's also my signature, it tells of who I am, right? I, I had an experience recently here trying to do an audit for my, for my company, right? The audit is due. And even though I could get someone else, uh, someone else had already been uh, given to me to do it, I felt I wanted to give it to a young lady, you know, just to give her something, you know. And <laughs> that was the regret, right? Because the young lady, first of all, was too much after the money. It was about, oh, where's the down payment? Even when I did the down payment, oh, I have nothing to sleep. All of that, and by the time the young lady did the work, did not even give me the work. Wanted the final payment. And I did all of that because I was I was doing it in faith, right? But the work she did for me was useless. I couldn't use it. But I, I paid her fully, but what she gave to me is useless. Now I have someone else doing the same job. That person has not even asked me for money. He's not even discussed with me how much I'm going to pay him. He's not even asked me for, for, for down payment. All he's doing is doing the work. The only lady that I gave the material, did not even ask me one question. This guy's been asking me a question. I've, I've, I've gone through 210 pages of document to help this guy do the work right. He, I'm a, I already have another job for him but after he's the one he's doing right now because a friend needs someone to do the same thing for him. You know, it's easy for me to recommend this new person I'm working with. You see, those are two personalities. This other person is a regret. 
<laughs> it will never smell work for me forever, right? This other person I can take anywhere, right? So your work goes beyond just that work, you know, and it's all it's like a Nigerian thing. The other people are just focused on the one job. But you don't make you don't make money for one job. You make money from referral. You make money from referral, not one job. You just want to kill on one job. That you that person will remember before you focus on his one job. People that make money make money from referral. That is, you did a good job. Someone refers you to this, to this, to this, to this. That's how you make money, right? And just in closing also, it's one of the things that, that distract people from working is when you're too conscious of yourself, right? I grew up as a, as a timid person. I grew up as a shy person. So I can talk to you more about this. And, and, and being timid, being shy, right? It's not a positive, it's a negative, it's a weakness. You know, and it's, it only comes from being too focused on yourself. What, what do people think about me? What will people say about me? All of that. All of that does not matter. Your focus is on what you're doing, right? When you start focusing on what people think about you, you're taking yourself too serious, right? You need to focus on your vision, your mission, and make it the best you can make it to be. That's all that matters. You're not trying to impress anybody. You're trying to impress yourself. You're trying to you're trying to impress yourself and your God. You're trying to impress your conscience. You set a minimum level of working for yourself. You have a work ethics that you walk towards, right? And, and that helps you. That helps you break break into territories, you know, and and territories that either told might have been an hindrance. When your focus is right, if your focus is on people and what they think about you, you've been limited. When your focus is on your vision, your mission, what you want to accomplish, you know, then you see no, nothing as a boundary, right? You're pushing towards it. You're not looking for excuses. You're looking for yes, right? You're looking for yes. Now, it's, it's when you look, when you're to focus on yourself, you're looking, you're focused on the things that will not work. You are you're focused on the problem, right? Life, you will, you will not go far. If all you're doing is focus on the problem. You need to be focused on the solution. There's always going to be a problem, right? That problem is, is asking a question, how far do you want to go? You know, how much do you want this? Life is about focus on the solution, not the problem, right? That's what differentiates between the poor and the rich. The poor, the poor is always focused on the problem. Oh, it's raining. It's not raining. It's dry season, not dry season, wet season. We don't have money. Oh, uh, it's uh, dollar is 800 or oh, dollar is 1000. Those are all the problems, <laughs> right? That is for people that don't know what they're doing. Question is, how can we get this done, right? That's the way to make it in this life. So there's going to be a problem, right? Solving them is what differentiates you in life.